there are two stages to human development, the unconscious, the sleep and fantile stage, and everybody goes through that. And then there's the conscious, awakened, mature stage. If you're lucky, you transport yourself into stage two. But I call stage one the boot camp. Everybody needs to get to the boot camp because my belief is that our divine nature is inside of us is love. So we all have access to love. It's who we are, it's our essence. But we have to forget it. We have to forget our divine essence because when you're in your heart and you're really connected in a state of grace, of gratitude, nothing is missing. You have no desire. You know the Buddhist principle of having no desire? Yeah. <laughs> well, could you imagine billions of people under the Buddha tree having no desire, just humming? Like nothing would happen. Yeah. So we have to forget our divine nature, come into a physical form, and then we get tricked. Because right from the beginning, love has to come from the outside. If love doesn't come from the outside, you're going to die. So we get used to looking for reflection of our worth in the way the world reacts to us. Well, you're worthy of love whether or not the world has time for you at that moment. It's not because something is wrong with you. So, but while we are unconscious, all these challenges, they become fuel to us. And I have an analogy. In the olden days, you would have these gigantic rockets that would, you know, have a capsule at the top. So you would have two fuel stages. The first fuel stage would disconnect. The second fuel stage would disconnect. And then the capsule could go into orbit. So... Stage one, every time we have a challenge, it drives us because we're not comfortable there. So now we run away from pain towards pleasure and it becomes our fuel and it works. It will take you up. But what would happen if the fuel stage did not disconnect from the capsule? The whole thing comes back crashing down on planet Earth. So the fuel is fear that we are unworthy of love. That's what drives us. That's why we keep going, trying to compensate for how inadequate we are, which is an illusion. It's not true. So the idea is to take us from stage one, where we're constantly looking at the world around us as our source of worth, to then bring it into stage two, where our heart, our own self, is our source of worth. And that's why I always use my yin and yang. So the male prince, the female principle is the yin, which is listening. And the male principle is the yang, which is acting. And our heart wants us to know two things. The first thing our heart wants us to know is that we're worthy of love. And we need to do whatever it takes to let go of the opposite story. So that's why doing the heart freedom method is important because it lets go of that story. Then you need to admit your dreams and aspirations from your heart. Not your head, not your emotion, not from a magazine, not from some guru you listen to, because the ultimate guru is you. If you spell guru, G-U-R-U, guru. So connecting with our higher self through our heart, through gratitude, this is where how we can listen and hear the guidance from inside of us. Like gratitude is super important. When people tell me I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here on planet Earth, usually it's because... They, haven't, they don't have access to the heart. And one of the easiest way to access the heart is through gratitude and love. Once you have gratitude and love, you get inspiration. If you look at inspiration, in means with. Asian is a condition of spirit. So to get inspiration, you need to be connected from the heart. So the more you do this work, the easier it becomes to hear what the heart is guiding you to do. So... You listen to your heart and then you start organizing your time to give your heart what it wants. And that's stage two. So it's a different fuel. You're not running away from pain towards pleasure because you're inadequate and worthy of love. In stage two, you're coming from inspiration because what you want to do is bring the best out of yourself. Benefiting from stage one, from the boot camp. When, when you start living life like this, it, it, to me, it's so 
clear now and because I've done this with so many people that what we all need to do is first spend time listening to our heart and deciding what's my purpose in life? Why am I here? Like, how am I going to bring the best out of myself? Thank you.